What's going on, gamers? Your boy I Maverick here. Let me. I got some beats here. We're gonna play some beats. Uh, and we'll skip through all the bad ones I don't like. But yeah, welcome to the new series. I don't know what we gonna call it. Give me, give me ideas in the title, or give me title ideas in the comment section. Again, I was thinking like the weekly dose, the dose, the daily dose. The reason I said daily, hold on, we might not do daily, but I'm just looking at all the feedback, man. I've got at this point over 30 emails from you guys, and I posted the video like a couple hours ago, so I'll have a bunch of questions I'm sure to answer on the regular, but we'll see. We might just start off slow and then see if it's worth increasing, but I don't want to get so so behind on questions either, but at the same time, I don't want to answer 30 questions in one video, so we'll see. We might go bi-weekly. We might go a few times a week. I don't know. We'll have to see, but after the end of the show, let me know how you liked it, and we'll kind of we'll kind of see what this evolves into, because I don't know. I'm not doing no editing on this right now. I'll just throw these up raw, uncut, unscripted, and we'll see where this series takes us. I got a feeling it could grow into something pretty cool, but uh, we'll, we'll just have to see. So what I was thinking is I'll answer five questions per video, uh, and then maybe talk about a certain topic that I pick. So I'll rant on something for a little bit, but there'll also be five questions. And I picked the first five questions I got. Now, just a heads up, every question that someone sends won't be answered. Um, I've only seen these first five, and they were all good questions. But some, I'm sure I'll get some dumb ones. So just know that if you send me a question, I'll most likely see it. But I might not always answer them if I don't think they deserve to be on the show. Because I'm no, I think I saw one was titled like Madden Help or something. I don't want to get tips on Madden in this video. I, I would like to not do that. So we'll we'll, we'll see where things go though. Uh, if you guys like that format, again, wait to the end of the video. Watch it. Get get a feel for the series. Any ideas? Kick it to me. Again, I don't know. We might end up be the, the world's number one podcast in the world. Again, I don't know. We're just we're gonna see where it takes us. So um, I got some really good questions here. First one, very first one I got, my man David, you were first, has a really good question too, he said, what up man, how you doing, I'm doing blessed brother, thank you for emailing me, I was just wondering why you don't play with your subs that much, I try hitting you on Twitter but you hardly answer, I understand you're extremely busy and you work really hard but I just wanted to know because connecting with your subs in that way is important, I have watched you for a long time and won't change because of this. This is a minor thing, but I would appreciate a reply. Thanks. Sent from an iPhone. Shout out to Team Android. But uh, good question, man. Really good question. And I'm going to touch on one thing. Um, I'm actually going to disagree with you. I'm going to disagree with you. Well, actually, I'm not going to disagree with you. You said connecting with your subs in that way is important. It can be important. It can be. But I think you have to, you kind of got to prioritize things, right? And and this is zero lack of appreciation. And I hope anyone, I would think anyone that feels that me not playing a lot of subs, as far as, oh, I don't like this beat, not for talking. Anyone that takes me not playing my subscribers as a lack of appreciation, I, I would have to feel you kind of taking that somewhat selfishly and you just really want that game. Now, the reason I don't, is because I don't want to get into the eye. Right. Although I've, I've actually talked about doing it here. Because I have a purpose behind it as far as with my giveaways and stuff. And I, I figured that would be a cool way. Because I, I do want to do it. I've, I've talked about doing it. So I just want to preface what I'm saying with that. But the main reason I haven't stressed myself out about it. Is because you know when you play one sub. Subscriber A, subscriber B through Z is like well mad when we going to play. And that's just going to increase the thirst. And I already went through a phase where it was just, I still get it on a daily basis. If I go through my Twitter, my YouTube comments, my um, my inboxes, sometimes I'll just be like streaming and scrolling through my messages. People will see my, my Xbox, my PlayStation messages. I promise you, I get challenged probably 100 times a day. Minimum 50 times a day between all those things. I get challenged or just even a friendly sub like, hey, can I get a game? I, I gave you guys my other email in the last video, um, you know, telling you guys to send me your testimonials. From uh, oh, also from now on, if you got any testimonials, send them to this email. Uh, do I still have the text up? I think I do. 
reachimab at gmail. I gave you guys that email and it got flooded with challenges like, hey Mav, can you please play me? And I love the specific ones like, hey Mav, can you play me at 6 p.m. On, on, on Sunday when I go to my grandma's house? It's like, man. And so you're right. I probably did ignore you if you asked me that because I do get those a lot. And it... it, it it, it kind of gets old just being just completely honest with you it gets old if you're always saying no to people um, every time you usually get challenged to play Madden so I do ignore those now and the reason I don't stress myself out with it because that's not what got me big you know the reason you subscribe to me isn't because I go out and I play all my subscribers you subscribe to me because of whatever reason it was but I was hope I'm sure it has something to do with you know my energy or anything unique that I do uh, maybe you're learning from my videos and I've always done it within the context of online rank matches and when I'm in mutt just the seasons just trying to progress through the seasons so for me I stay focused on you know what I mean just playing playing uh, my seasons which is focusing on what I've always done when people subscribe to me and if you match up with me through that that's awesome if you don't you know what I mean it just it doesn't put that burden of like, hey man, can you play me in this? Can you play me in that? Blah, blah, blah. So that's why it hasn't been like a huge priority to me. Is it something I want to do? Yeah, but I never want to be, I never want y'all to know me for like the guy that just always plays all of his subs. Because I feel like if that's the way I got to show my appreciation to you, I'll drive myself crazy because I'm outnumbered. One to over 80,000. So, uh, yeah, I hope that answers. And this is for everyone that wants to challenge me to do a game. If you challenge me, I'll probably always ignore it. Um, I do want to work in. Again, I'm still working with the coin sellers. Hopefully, we can get like some giveaway things going. And that won't... Oh, this got the tag on the beat. Hold on, my bad. Let's switch this. Uh, um, how often will I do that? I don't know. How often will we play subs and do the giveaways? Once a week will be dope for me. But again, that's just something I don't want to uh, stress myself out with. So, hope that answers your question. Hope that helps you. All right. The second question, man. We're getting pretty deep for this second question. From my man, John Waller. Says, what's good, Mav? Just wanted to ask a random question for Mav Mondays. Are you in support of gay rights? Question. Let me drop the beat for this one. Uh, good question. And y'all got to beware with this series. If y'all going to ask me questions like these, I'm going to answer them honestly how I feel. But what I want to try to avoid is the YouTube preachers and philosophers coming in. Healthy back and forth is always good. It's cool. Disagreeing is healthy. It's good. But there's the things like politics, religion. Those are the two main ones. I think there's something else that I'm missing that and I and I understand I used to get in these battles trust me on my own videos but I've grown to a point where I, I stopped trying to convince people on YouTube and really everywhere in life um, so I don't want to see you guys get in any nasty or pointless arguments because my 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 it's a very spiritual answer I'm about to give. But, and again, something I'm not afraid to answer. I just want you guys to uh, just just be with any with any question I have. Because y'all know I'm a dedicated Christian. The God, God first, God bless. It's something I mean. Not just something I say at the end of videos. It's something I always, I mean. The, all, the glory to God at the beginning of my videos. It's something I mean. And it's something I do my best to live. So, you're not going to get me to put that down or put that aside for any of my questions. So, again, uh... If you feel yourself feeling some sort of way about this, you know, just just probably just don't answer it and uh, and yeah, and keep it moving. But back to the beat. So my thoughts on gay rights, I don't have any problem with it. You know, a lot of people are fighting for like, I guess, you know, gay people to get married. I don't really stress myself out with that. I don't worry about it too much. But I will say this. I do believe that marriage is between a man and a woman only. Matt, why do you believe that? Because my Bible tells me that. Uh, if you ever have a question about anything that I believe, anything, Google, say, what does the Bible say about bow? And you'll you'll know my thoughts on it. You'll know my beliefs on it. 
Uh, I believe the Bible, I believe it's uh, God's word, and I believe it's the ultimate authority. So I always do my best to follow in line with it. Now, your boy ain't perfect, and, and, I, and I hate it. And a lot of Christians give us this bad rap. And a lot of people would be like, oh, Christians are so hypocritical, and ah, oh, who are you to judge, and this and that, and you're not even perfect. And for someone that says that, well, you know, because I think that to be the truth, you know, marriage being between a man and a woman, I'm not judging that. God judged it. I'm just telling you what he said, and, and I believe what he said. And so that's how I live my life. That being said, uh, and again, you got to be real. You got you to gotta over-explain yourself with the gay thing because it's really touchy. Uh, them, 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 them gay talks get sensitive, but I have zero problems with gay people. It's not the person that I have an issue with or even hate, you know what I mean? It's just, I just believe it's a sin. And so, but again, I don't hold that sin above any other sin. I don't hold someone that might be struggling with homosexuality over a sin that I may commit. So I don't look at them as below me or, you know, anything like that. Um, but I just do believe it's a sin. I believe marriage should be between a man and a woman. So, but bringing that back to the gay rights, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things that my Bible teaches me, um, as far as how I maneuver and do things that isn't necessarily a law, um, in America. I mean, for example, I could cheat on my wife and not go to jail, right? But, you know what I mean? It, again, not, we yeah, ain't, so I'm not going to go cheat on my wife. Uh, there's a lot of things that aren't rules as far as, you know, loving loving people and, and walking in love and how i treat people i don't need that to be made a law in america or wherever i'm at for me to follow that and i don't think it becoming a law is gonna it, it, it's not it's not a it's not a legal legally uh, what i'm saying is if gay marriage was illegal everywhere Obviously, that's not doing anything to eliminate the sin. So, and I don't, I don't necessarily believe that making it legal would increase the sin. I think if you're struggling with homosexuality, you're struggling with homosexuality, whether it's legal or not. So, and again, you know, some Christians want to fight for what they think is right, you know, and and make it a law. I don't know if that necessarily makes the difference. I'd rather be working on the root, which is the sin. And so, you know, what I mean. It's a law to, you know what I mean, not kill people. Some people still struggle with it, you know what I mean? And so I I, I don't I don't really stress about it. Uh, oh, again, I don't know if I finished explaining this. As far as, uh, you know, people that are struggling with that, I don't I don't have any issues with gay people. I know some gay people. I actually got a, a really good friend at my church who used to be gay. He has a really good testimonial. I need to actually share the full thing with y'all one day. But um, he had HIV. Uh, I think he had like he had like black marks on his face and stuff, and then he went into the doctor and it was just doctor was like get you know guy guy gave his life to Christ, started getting in the word, went back to the doctor and the doctor was like bruh, HIV's gone, I don't know where it's at. Like healed from that, healed uh, no longer struggling with the homosexuality. He actually has a girlfriend right now that goes to the church too. So cool story. And again, let me drop the beat back on this. Uh, and again, like I said, that's a very spiritual answer. That was a biblical answer. And I'm not a, you know, I'm not afraid, not not a, not offended by anyone that, you know, what I mean, isn't Christian, doesn't believe in God, atheist, agnostic, whatever. Uh, and, and I don't even have a problem with you guys talking about this in the comment section. Just keep it tasteful. Uh, I will say that if anyone's getting negative and uh, very mean and disrespectful, not really just to me, or really just to anyone else, another another viewer, I'll block you. I'll block you. Everyone's. Thoughts, opinions are welcome on this series. That's what's going to make this series what it is. But, you know what I mean? Just know your boy, uh, I'll never fold on on my beliefs. And I, and I will say this. This kind of goes into, like, the ranting. Uh, I had a, I used to do my full game Fridays, and I'm, which I'm going to bring back on Mad Mass Mind. Don't trip. And this question came up. Something about, you know, what I feel about gay marriage or something like that. And I shared my opinion on it. And there were some people that were just heated. People always get hot over this. Um, and someone was like, Mav, I can't believe you, that you would believe that. I can't believe that you feel being gay is wrong, that it's a sin. Um, I know people that were born that way. I, I will always hate you and I will unsubscribe. And I, I lost all respect for you and I'll never follow you again. Let me be clear on this. If you feel that way, that's that's you. 
but I'll say this. I, I don't want anyone to follow me if it requires me hiding or sacrificing or uh, there's a better word that I'm looking for. Um, dang, what's the word I'm looking for? But basically, I'm not going to um, uh, uh, hide my beliefs. You know what I mean? So if you don't like that, you know, I live my life. It's, 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 you know, I, I try my best and I believe in the Bible and I'm a follower of Christ and that's how I live my life. I really don't want you to follow me if you have a problem with that because that's not something that's going to change. If you disagree, that's fine. But if like if that angers you and you're just like, oh, I can't stand you. I, I'll never love you. I, I, so I hate you little jigaboo. I hate I ever watched your videos. You know what I mean? You're just, I, I don't want those kind of followers. You know what I mean? If I just have to say God first, God bless at the end of a video but not really mean it and that not have no power in my life, those aren't the followers I need. So, yeah, that's my answer to that. Great question, man. I, I, I have no problem with digging deep on this show. So, yeah. Uh, John, good question. Oh, I went into one I wasn't supposed to. Jeffrey, we'll get you next time. All right. Oh, no, Jeff has too. Okay, cool. Jeff, good question here, too. Jeffrey asked me, how much does the positive feedback outweigh the negative? How do you deal with the negative feedback? What's your biggest tip with negative statements slash feedback? Thanks and keep the videos coming, Jeff. Wow, that's a good question. So let's start off first. How much does the positive feedback outweigh the negative? And I've actually thought about this and tried to track it. Um, I don't know the exact answer to that, obviously, because that's really hard to track. But if I'm just throwing a number out there, I think it's fair to say that the ratio is 1 to 10. I would have to say at least, if not more, uh, 1 to 20. 1 to 100 might. And, I, and, and feedback, I'm not necessarily saying feedback because I don't really know what negative feedback is. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards like the haters, like the neg negative, like, man, F you. You a you a you a, a, a n word. You're you know just the or I can't stand you. Just loud jigaboo or just just anything that you would read and be like, man, that's hate. Not someone that's like, hey man, um, uh, you know, hey man, I, I didn't really like this video. What about you do it this way or that? Like constructive criticism. I'm not including that. So I'm just really just talking love versus hate. I would say it's one to ten, one to twenty, something like that. Uh, but here's the funny thing, and this is something I've actually struggled with, so it's cool to talk about. For whatever reason in our life, and I'm sure you guys struggle with this outside of YouTube, the negative always seems to stand out so much more than the positive. And almost every YouTuber I've talked to has felt this. And that's why it's important. And I hope I hope this, I want to inspire y'all for my videos, but even your other favorite YouTubers, if you liked a video they did, Please like it and leave them a comment letting them know you liked it. If you thought it was worth sharing and you think people in your circle would like it, share it, please. Do all of that because you, it sucks because you do get a lot of hate on YouTube. Trust me, I get a lot of hate, a lot, a lot, a lot. But compared to the love, it's not even close. I get, I'm gonna use the word oodles, okay? I'm about to, I just use the word oodles. I get oodles of love, man. Oh, I get so much love. But it's 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 crazy how the mind works because sometimes you can just be so focused on the hate. Like I could scroll through the comments, man. And my wife knows, so my wife's just getting into it with the pack opening videos. She's not really used to dabbling into comments. I've been doing this for years. So the mean comments, and I'll answer that later. The mean comments don't get to me too much. But with her, she'll be like, Oh, they love the video. Oh, they love the pack opening video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Your wife is a dumb hoe and she's annoying. And then she's on like suicide watch. Well, she doesn't take it that bad. No, she doesn't. But then she's like, oh man. And she'll be feeling some sort of way. And I'm like, well, hold on. You ain't read like the 20 comments before that. It was like, wow, wifey's so funny, so cool. I love your guys' relationship. Like, you know what I mean? So. The negative ones just have a really bad way of sticking out. And if you're not careful, you'll, that's all you'll focus on. And I've gone through seasons like that. And 
and but the reason I said you guys should show love because that love is important. Sometimes some of my best and biggest supporters might just take that for granted and don't think they they think they can just they, or they can, but they'll just watch the videos and not comment, not like. For example, I was a big Hodge Twins watcher. I fell off watching them since I haven't been working out, but I need to get back onto it. But I was watching their videos religiously, like their workout videos, and I would I didn't like comment share one single video, not one. But I watched like. I was checking their channel every day like man when is the next video about to drop but I wouldn't show no love and so it's always good for you to show that love so when them haters do come you, your favorite youtuber just spills that love and so I barely got in the habit I don't watch too many videos but I always try to like and, and leave a comment just be like man I like this video thanks for making the video something like that so uh, so yeah how much does it outweigh I would say one to I, between 1 to 10, 1 to 20, so let's say 1 to 15. Uh, yeah, that, that works. Uh, next part, how do you deal with the negative feedback? I'll tell you, instead of just telling you how I deal with it, I'll tell you the, the evolution. I used to argue and debate. Y'all seen my, my negotiating skills, right? I'm, I'm decent with the words. So, you know, y'all y'all didn't see me milk some extra dabbles out of the pack opening wagers. So, for example, when someone would talk crap, and I'm very, I used to be very, very confrontational, very. Even people would have seen my, 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 my maturing process from when I first started to where I'm at now, you, you've even seen that, especially in the comment section. So, I used to reply to every single negative comment, every single one, and I was very negative with them. I would mirror them. I would mirror whatever they said. So, if they called me ugly and whatever, I was... There was no filter, you know, I, it, and because they would they would hurt my feelings, and that's what people don't realize that sometimes it's like entertainers they think we're just machines and we don't have feelings and we don't have bad days and sometimes we come across bad comments on a bad day that might affect us more than it was on a good day, or sometimes your guys' positive comments uplift us on a bad day. That's why it's important to leave that love. So I would, you know, I'd be real mean, but but see what's crazy is my my fans would would. Praise it. I come out eat someone up because I'd always have a good response. I get all the likes on it. People be like, oh man, get them. And it's just like a little, like a little row session. And that was cool, but it used to take up a lot of my day. I'd spend, I'm ashamed to even say this, but I was that petty and that immature. It's, I'd spend hours arguing with people on YouTube, arguing with people on PSN, everyone that said I sucked. Um, people would be like, man, this guy sucks at games. And I'd be like, yeah, I suck. But you still watch this video, ho, and I got paid. Ho, money. You know what I mean? Like, I would just be talking crap. And and that was just a reflection of who I was and where I was at that point. Now, how does it affect me? Uh, I can honestly say, which is I'm glad this question was even asked, it rarely affects me, and it usually doesn't. Um, do I have bad days where I come across certain bad comments where it hits me? Yes. But where I'm proud, where I'm, what, what I'm proud of is that my responses almost never mirror that stuff. Uh, every now and then, do I have like them real bad times where I'll fall or something and I'll like snap at someone? Yeah. Uh, but anyone that frequents my comments will know that's rare. You know what I mean? Someone gets to say something really mean, I'll hit them with a God bless. Keep it moving. So, but it wasn't, it was an evolution. It, it really was a process because I've, I've come from, you know what I mean? I've always been pretty popular. And everything ever since growing up, you know, I've always played sports. So even through high school, even going into college, like I've been popular. I've had a lot of friends. I've had a lot of love. I've always had the haters, but the few haters you get because you dope in high school can't prepare you for going on YouTube. And literally, if I just go through my comments right now, I can find hundreds of evil comments, mean comments. It does nothing prepares you for that. At least the little high school hate doesn't doesn't prepare you for that. So. Um, I will say this, I also limit my comment section interaction because I go in enough just to get a feel for what people are saying in my video so I get the feedback and I and I, I, I respond to some of the love just so my presence in my comments, but um, I get hundreds of comments a day across all my channels. If I just meditate on it and, and soak in that stuff, it'll take away time from me being productive in other areas and it'll, it could also put me in a really bad mood. Uh, if I do come across all those negative ones, so they don't really affect me, but I don't, I don't, I don't give them the chance to. Like if I can already tell a comment's bad, I just stop reading it. 
You know what I mean? Especially the paragraph ones. Like, it'll be a big paragraph. Like, Dear IMAP, this is why you suck, and this is how you suck. All right, next comment. <laughs> I don't even read it because I'm not – I've just grown to a place where I realize I'll go crazy if I try to entertain all the haters, and uh, they're just going to be there. I could do one of the best things, man. I could be like, yo, I'm about to go feed these gerbils for charity. And they'll be like, yeah, you probably fed them some cheap dollar food food that's actually going to kill them next week, you broke son of a... You know what I mean? Like, there's no there's no making some people happy. So I've just realized that, and I've grown. And, yeah, is that it? What is your biggest tip with negative... Oh, okay, so how do you deal with it? And what is your biggest tip with negative statements slash feedback? My, my tip is love them. Love them. Two, I got three things. Three things. One, try to understand them. Let me drop the beat for this. I think this is important. This is something. This is something I ain't get from a book. This is something I got from a lot of pain, a lot of frustration, a lot of mean cuss words I didn't send people, and waking up feeling stupid. A lot of time in my Bible is. This is what I got. I think it's three. We'll see. We'll see when I'm done talking. It might be two. Uh, number one, try and understand them. Number two, love them. I don't know what order these go in. Number two, love them. Put it. All right, so maybe we might not have a little step program, but I just got some tips. So try and understand it. Still love them through whatever they said. That's the could be the hardest one sometimes. And then three kind of goes under understanding it, so I'll just leave that under that. But number three, I was going to say, know when to ignore it. Okay? You got to know when to ignore it. So, number one, understand it. I've had some people say some, come at me really maliciously, right? And just say, say things really mean, but they were telling the truth, right? They were telling the truth. Um, and it was, it was good feedback. So, I just had to, what do they say? Like, eat the meat, spit out the bones. Like, I had to be like, okay. Dang, that hurt my feelings the way you said that. You ain't had to you ain't have to call me a little punk hoe in it, but it's cool. Like you made sense. I, I could be better at that. So let me take that and then let me throw away all the the, the rudeness ticityism. Um so that's how you want to try and understand it. But you also want to try and understand them. Uh I had a one of my favorite pastors say, I think it's uh, I'm pretty sure this was T D Jakes, but he was talking about you can't hate someone that you understand. And when you can understand what someone's going through it kind of puts a different little paradigm shift on what they're saying. So, for example, I've had people come through and be like, yo, you're such an annoying baboon fool. I can't stand your videos. I'm unsubscribing. F you. And I've this has honestly actually happened. And I've replied and I've been like, well, man, I'm sorry you didn't like the video. But I do appreciate you even being subscribed at one point. That means the world to me. Thank you for that. And it does mean the world to me because the more subscribers I have, I would think you're viewing my video somewhat regularly. I get paid off of the views here. Helps, you know what I mean? Helps with my family. So I appreciate that. Even if, you know, and all you people come together to to, to amount to what I'm getting um, on YouTube. So I appreciate that. And so I'd be like, you know, so thank you for ever being subscribed and, you know, God bless. And that person returned and commented and said, man. I'm sorry, Mav. I ain't even mean that, bro. I had a bad day. I was, uh, I got fired from my job. I was doing a little bit of drinking. I've been watching your videos since Madden 12. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't even mean that. And I've seen that person still commenting today. This happened like a year ago. I don't know. Like, yeah, at least, at least maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. But, and I've noticed that person since. Madden 15's been out. Comment on the video. Be like, hey, man, good video. Hey, you should pick up that new Andrew Luck or whatever. You know what I mean? So, one, I loved them through what they said. And so that kind of gave me a chance to fill them out and, you know, really see what they were talking. And then, you know, once you realize someone lost their job and they've been drinking, it kind of it shifts your, your paradigm on who's talking to you. Because it's really, especially if it's on YouTube, you don't you don't automatically know. And so... If his if I read his comment and next to it in parentheses said this dude's drunk and just lost his job and doesn't know how he's gonna feed his family or doesn't know how he's gonna pay rent at the end of the month, I would have read that comment a little bit different. And so uh and I I try to do that in person too, so I try to understand someone. This person's hating on you. Dang, why are they hating on me? What are they going through? Because a lot of the times the hate I'm getting isn't even because of it. 
I could be frustrated with you know something that's not working technically here with my setup and then I got subscribers or not even subscribe yeah maybe subscribe one thing that really gets to me is like ungratefulness so like I'll be getting some ungrateful comments and I'm just frustrated and then my daughter comes in and saying something and I'm just like Lorray be quiet or I snap at her and it has nothing to do with her and she could run off to mommy and be like man mommy dad's hating but really my 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 emotion and my hostility towards her had nothing to do with her nothing and sometimes that's what you'll that'll be the result of hate the person that's hating on you uh, might be getting abused at home uh, they might be suicidal uh, they might have been molested they uh, their parents might not believe in them it, there's just so much so I always try to understand them the only thing is on the internet it's kinda hard but yeah that's my advice understand them uh, still love them through it because you'll, you'll, you'll be surprised how much it's hard someone can't really hate you when you're continuously loving them uh, but also sometimes you just gotta know when to ignore it and walk away uh, when some people are just so so nasty and so mean uh, you just gotta know when to distance yourself and be like you know what I'm not gonna match what you got going on in your life I'm gonna just go over here and and be positive and you gotta know when to remove negativity from your life and so I hope that helps but I've really uh, from when the first from the, when I first started on YouTube dealing with the comments I get now and just the overall hate to where I'm at now it's been a growing process and I'm doing pretty good I'm glad where I'm at so all right there's that uh, let's see question number four I man these are actually some big questions I probably should only did three I think this fourth one isn't even a question it's just a shout out so that'll help us this fourth one is a shout out I just because he said I just want to say thank you so this is my man Gil Gil Hermie Augusto bruh I know I just butchered your name I'm so sorry I'm so sorry but he said hey man just thought I would tell you how much I like your content thank you for uploading so much per day and actually caring for us I've been watching your videos for two months now and although it's pretty hard to follow the NFL from Brazil your videos just make it a little better best of luck for you and sorry for any mistakes as I am not a native English speaker bro you put that paragraph better and spelled better than I can so shout out to you uh, thank you for the support uh, thank you for acknowledging the effort I put and the care I have for all my subscribers it, it, it's all it's always awesome man and don't ever take it for granted that I might hear it from other people I love it man when people can uh you know you know uh, they, they appreciate and understand the things that I do so thank you for that man thank you shout out to Brazilians though shout out to Brazilians uh, oh wow this is a good question and I'll probably keep this short and because this video, this episode has already got really long. And you guys let me know a good ideal length for these episodes. This one will probably be way too long. Let me bring the beat back. Uh, hey, Mav, I got a question for you for your new show. Great idea, by the way. This is from Raul. Raul, thank you. You're dope. What advice would you give to somebody that wants to start a YouTube channel? How did you start from zero to where you are now? Oh, that's a good one. Actually, it's so good. I'm about to do the biggest dirt move ever, dirt bag move ever, and I'm gonna leave y'all with the cliffhanger. We're gonna answer that as the first question next episode because I'm a little worried on the video length. Number two, I gotta leave for church in 18 minutes. And three, I don't know that I can give you guys a short answer for this. I can see myself ranting for a while on this because. I've had enough success that I can really give back and pour some stuff into y'all. Nothing detailed is really even needed, but just just kind of talk to you guys about what I've been through, and I don't see this being a short answer. So Raul, we're, we're gonna open up with yours. Um, that's that. So you guys see the type of questions I'm getting, man. If as I scroll through these titles, a lot of them just say question. One says help from Kobe. It starts off saying, "Yo, man, you really inspire me." Um, new series idea question. Cardinals fan, no. Eagles fan, my man Tensai looks like Tensai wrote me. Uh, Mav Mondays, Eagles top three favorite YouTubers. Like, there's a lot of their science. Oh man. Uh, hi Mav. So you see, I got a lot of YouTube ideas. I got a lot of overall videos, and y'all see, I don't know if y'all noticed how much I was scrolling. Uh, so and of course I got to filter which ones are good, which ones are bad. Uh, if I know the answer, I'll I'll answer it. 
uh, just because you ask me a question, I'm not going to perpetrate it up here and, and act like I have knowledge on something I don't. So, you know what I mean? If you're like, Mav, what's the best way to do this? And I legitimately don't know. I might even just answer it on here and be like, here's the question. I'm sorry. I don't know. But I won't. Just because I won't. I won't. I won't lie to y'all. I won't try and fake stuff. And a lot of the stuff I'm answering isn't no right or wrong. It's just me giving you guys my two cents. So, all right, y'all. So, we're going to end it there. Feel free to ask me whatever. Um, I want to. I want to do like a question of the day. Like I want to ask you guys a question every video. So for this video, it's kind of hard for people to see this video late. I was gonna give you guys, ask you guys to give me your predictions. I give you my predictions. Eagles, Panthers play tonight. I'm actually uploading this just as the game's about to start. Prediction: Eagles by 17. Do I believe that? Honestly, I do. I see us with Mark Sanchez starting at quarterback. Let me make sure I feel 17. Because what I was going was like 17-34. Is that the math on that? Hold on. Is that? Oh, yeah, that's 17. Okay. But... Might be thinking 10, 27 actually. I think 10, 27. 10, 27 Eagles. I'm no sports analysis. I'm just shooting off my gut. Don't, 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 don't ask me for fantasy uh, uh, suggestions. I don't play fantasy football. I don't know none of that. I don't even claim to be a, a good. NFL guru. I just I just love my Eagles. That's it. Um, question of the day. This series is about you guys getting to know me, me getting to know you. So let me formulate a quick question. I want you guys to answer this in the comment section. So I can get to know you guys. And I'm going to go through these comments. Let me know your age. Let me know your age. Oh, shout out to wifey looking like a thug. Come in here. Come say hi. We're about to end this episode. Yeah. Uh, chuck the deuces real quick. Um, about to head off to church. When I say I'm about to go to church on Monday, we don't have service on Monday, but me and my wife and I volunteer. Ooh, she smell good too. You, you, you know, you know when that smell linger, you just like ooh. We got three kids for a reason, man. That's that that smell be lingering. Okay, 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 okay. Um. We, we volunteer in the youth group, so on Monday, sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't. We have practice where we'll do, like, dramas and just help with stuff. And so sometimes I have that on Monday. This Monday I have it. And so, yeah, that's where I'm off to. But uh, ask me, man. I want to know your age and where you're from. You don't got to get specific because, I mean, I no one's going to follow you and, and play with your booty because you put your age and where you're from. You can be as specific. If you're in a different country, just put your country. If you're in the U.S., Put your state, man. Be like, bruh, 14, Ohio, 24, Colorado, whatever, 18, India, whatever. You know what I mean? Just let your boy know. Um, so that's the question of the day. Let me know your age. Let me know where you're from. Um, if you have any other questions, you can email me at reachimav.com. you have any testimonials, reachimav.com. I appreciate y'all for this. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. I think I'm going to get to know you guys on a deeper level. You guys get to know me on a deeper level. I think you guys will bring a lot out of me. I think you guys might challenge me with some of these questions. Yeah? All right, go ask mommy. And uh, with that, I'm going to end it. Give me all the feedback on video length, ideas, anything. Appreciate y'all. Till next time, God first, God bless.